Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of the Jamie Hughes Show for 2017. Hope you all had a great Christmas and a fantastic new year. Now let's get down to brass tacks. You are here watching this video. I am here to deliver to you my 10 most anticipated films for 2017. Or in simpler terms, the films I'm most looking forward to seeing in this calendar year. Uh, as always, this is my own personal preference, this list. Um... This list is not going to be ranked, it's just going to be sort of me throwing films at you because uh, I didn't really want to rank films that are coming out in December and I don't really know a lot about them. Uh, I just found a list and saw, and saw the films that I am most looking forward to. So let's jump into it. And the first film I want to talk about is Star Wars Episode 8. How could I not talk about it? Uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited for this. Uh, I can't wait to see where they're going to go with following on from the force awakens if i'm being honest i want it to be i want it to feel different than the force awakens uh, i don't want it to rely as much on the nostalgia as it did in the force awakens i feel like they've done that now and they can move on and create a really great organic story uh leading on to building this awesome trilogy which it is going to be you know it's going to be uh, and also on a on a kind of sad note it's going to be uh, hard but nice to see how Carrie Fisher and Princess Leia are going to tie into this film. Uh, obviously she had, she did shoot uh, all of her scenes before she died. So yeah, it's going to be tough to see and nice to see how they uh, incorporate that character into the future series. Okay, next up is a film I didn't think I would be excited for. But then they released the teaser trailer for it. And they've got me a little bit hooked. Damn you Pixar, this is Cars 3. Uh, if you've not seen the teaser trailer, uh, it, yeah, it looks really, really dark and serious and not what you would expect of a, a stereotypical Pixar movie to be. And that's what got me hooked on this film. Uh, I feel like if they follow up with the film like they've done in the teaser, it could be a very different film to what we got with Cars 2 and the original Cars. Uh, yeah, it looks a lot more grown up and I think that's great. And yeah, I can't wait to see... The direction they do go with Cars 3. Hello viewer. It's time to play a game. Can you guess what film I'm excited for from this really shit impression? That's right. It's Saw Legacy. I can't do that anymore. Oh my god. <coughs> yes. Um, this is Saw Legacy. Uh, I've got to admit, uh, the Saw films are a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, because there are two, maybe three, that are actually really good, uh, and the rest are a bit... Mm, but it's kind of like, you, you know, if you like it, you like it. And secretly, I do like it, and I am quite excited that they are bringing out uh, Saw Legacy, which is now Saw 8, I think. Um, but it's going to be more of a prequel. It is going to feature the original Jigsaw Killer, even though he's been dead for about 30 years at this point. I don't even know. But yeah, looks really great. They did drop a teaser trailer for it about four or five days ago, so go and check that out on YouTube. Uh, yeah, and I can't wait to see what Saw has in store. Boom. Okay, next up, it is Lego Batman. Uh, this is going to follow on from the Batman that features in the Lego movie. And you've got to be pretty stone hard if you didn't enjoy the Lego movie in one shape or form. I thought the Lego movie was great. It was one of my favourite films of 2014, I think it was. Um, but yeah, it was really, really great, really funny. And Will Arnett is back as Lego Batman. And it just looks like it's going to be great. And I don't think they can do any wrong with this film. Okay, changing tone and genres a little bit here. Uh, the film I'm next uh, looking forward to see is Dunkirk. This is Christopher Nolan's latest offering. And it looks great. I've not seen any of the teaser or the trailers that have been released for it. I've just seen the teaser posters. And that got me excited at this point. Uh, I love Christopher Nolan's films. They really make you think. Uh, you feel a lot cleverer when you've seen a Christopher Nolan film if you know what's happened in it. So yeah, I can't wait to brag to all my friends and be like, yeah, I totally know what was going on there. So really looking forward to seeing Dunkirk uh, and seeing how uh, Nolan portrays World War II in his films. Next upon this list, it is the only DC film to feature on this list, and that is boop, 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 Wonder Woman! Uh, really excited for Wonder Woman. I'm not really excited for the Justice League or Aquaman or whatever else is coming out this year. Um, but from what I've seen, Wonder Wheel, Wonder Wheel, <laughs> Wonder Woman feels different. It feels like it could uh, change DC for the better. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I've not seen any of the other 
DC Universe films at this point, um, but Wonder Woman feels like it is going to be a special event when it's released, and I look forward to, to seeing what happens in it. Okay, next up, it is a film franchise that I have a soft spot for, uh, and this is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, I don't think you can dislike a Pirates of the Caribbean film. I know 3 wasn't great. It really like, changed the mood and the tone of the films that... Uh, before it but it's Johnny Depp playing like his best character ever and you just can't help but like enjoy the goofiness of them as I said they don't really take themselves too seriously uh, it'll be nice to see where the story is going to follow on to and yeah really looking forward to seeing what strange uh, no sorry what dead men tell to no tales has to offer that was a lot to say in a sentence next upon this list it is boom 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 if you didn't get it from that, uh, this is King Kong, Kong Skull Island. Uh, a really odd cast in this one, but uh, again, it's made me excited. You've got Tom Hiddleston, Samuel Jackson, John C. Riley, uh, and John Goodman. Uh, this is obviously the film that is going to lead up to the battle between Godzilla and King Kong. Obviously, we've we've already had the Godzilla film in 2014. Now we've got Kong. Uh, it looks a lot different to the other King Kong films that we've had. Uh, well ever it looks like it's mainly going to take place on Skull Island looks like a different style looks like it's flipped it around a bit where you know Kong isn't really seen as the bad guy he is you know it is the humans that are coming into his land and destroying his his world and it looks it looks really great I hope it delivers and I can't wait to see where the story leads on to to the eventual showdown between Kong and Godzilla Okay, and next up on this list is Wilson. Uh, it's a film that is not as big budget and as Hollywood as the other films that have made it onto this list. But it looks really, really great. It looks really funny. It did something that a trailer very rarely does. It made me laugh out loud a couple of times. It stars Woody Harlson. And it looks like it could be already, as I said, based on the trailer, one of my favourite films of 2017. Looks really funny, really poignant in bits. Looks like Harlson's going to give one of the performances of his career uh, and I really suggest if you've not heard of this film to go and check out the trailer on YouTube because it looks absolutely great. Okay and rounding up this list it is Alien Covenant. Now I've got to be honest I've not seen Prometheus but from what I've seen from the trailers uh, and doing the research for this list it looks like this is going to be the film that is going to tether together Prometheus and the first Alien film. It's going to tie them together in a nice big bow uh, and yeah it looks great. It's got a great cast Ridley Scott is back, the Xenomorphs are back, even though that was more like a Power Ranger. But it looks like it's going to be really enjoyable, it's going to be really terrible. Uh, Aliens, the, the second Alien film holds a special place in my heart. So I hope it's going to be terrifying, I hope it's going to be great, it's going to be sci-fi, it's going to be everything we've wanted from an Alien film for the past 20 odd years or so, and I really can't wait to see it. So that is my list. Uh, thank you for watching. If there are any films I've missed out or are there any films that I haven't mentioned that you are excited to see. As always, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, as always, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please share, and subscribe, because if you subscribe, you will be doing me a massive favor, and I will love you all forever. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of The Jim Hughes Show. Drop.